there's never been a better time to have Sirius XM. With over 140 channels in your vehicle, your all-access trial includes more than ever before to enjoy online, on your phone, or at home. Create your own ad-free personalized stations powered by Pandora. Hear ad-free extra channels and enjoy favorite shows with Sirius XM Video On Demand. What you love is on now. Powerbase is one of those brands that have a lot going for them. Add to that the fact that they own their own manufacturing facilities and all that forward-thinking design they've been coming up with. It's recently made up a lot of space on retailer shelves, and for a lot of reasons. Today, we welcome Vice President Eric Harbour to the session today to shed a little bit of light on what's going on with Powerbase, especially in the power sports category. This is CMA Connected, presented by SiriusXM. Powerbase starts now. Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to another CMA Connected here. I'm your host, Ben Wu. On the menu, we're talking about power sports audio through the sessions. And of course, today we're talking about a brand called Powerbase. Powerbase, have you heard of it? I have, because literally this is a brand that feels like it's just been exploding time and time again. You know, they start in car audio. We've covered them in Marine before. They're getting into portables. We're going to learn about that today. And of course, lots of goodies when it comes to the power sports market. In Canada, distributed by BB Distribution, they found a lot of success and a lot of dealers have also followed suit. At the, towards the end of the show, we have a special guest dealer that will be sharing with us a little bit of testimonial and how they've been doing with the brand. But first, let's get our BB Distribution representative on the show today with us. He is the uh, training and product manager for BB. His name is Justin Bond. How are you doing? What's going on, Justin? Good to see you. Year three. Year three, but you're finally here. It's taken a bit, but we finally got you back. It feels like it feels yeah, like you went on anymore. vacation for so for a little bit too long, but we're back. We're good. We're back. The, the machine is rolling again. Yeah, yeah, that's good. It's good for us in 2022. I'm stoked that the one of the first ones we're doing is Powerbase 2, which is awesome because the brand itself is just super unique and just delivers really on all aspects. Yeah, you've always been really positive every time we are a little bit giddy, even when it comes to Powerbase. It's something I know that BB is very proud to have in their, you know, in their on their menu to be able to offer to dealers because it's very solutions based. You've, we've talked about it before. There's high value, you know, proposition when it comes to the brand. And it just covers a lot of areas that retailers need to cover. Well, I mean, it's also quite, quite a unique brand, uh, you know. We we all know things know that things are are manufactured you know uh, in the far east and uh, abroad but, uh, yeah abroad but I mean I don't really ever want anyone to kind of get the opinion that that the quality suffers because it's the same thing you know when people look at an iPhone or a phone like that you know that's Eastern manufactured and some consider it some of the kind of like you know, best technology, highest quality electronics out there. And to to have a company like Powerbase that um, is not just building off the shelf stuff with a new name, like a lot of other manufacturers, the fact that it's all manufactured in their own facility um, has made Powerbase kind of grow, uh, you know, for a company that kind of came around in 2001, they're definitely just continue continuing to to step up you know over and over again walk, in, in quality us, and you know products so walk us through a little bit when you're talking to a new customer and you're showing them your portfolio how do you position like how do you present power base to them that's what i want to get from you today so the nice thing about power base the thing that that makes it so awesome for almost every shop is that it is so multifaceted in terms of its offerings, right? So um, 
you know, it offers all the solutions you would need in the automotive or 12 volt side for car. Uh, it offers a ton of products in Marine and it kind of like into a crossover into power sports. Um, and, and like you said, they are starting even to dabble now on portables and some other things. So it really is just a, a huge brand, everything from, you know, amp kits all the way to radios. It's, it's what makes it really exciting. And uh, Powerbase is just a very easy sell for me. You know what I mean? As a, as a distributor, when I'm talking to a dealer, it's a brand that, that delivers day in, day out. And it does exactly what it's supposed to do. There's never any kind of shortcomings. Uh, you know, you get exactly what you expect plus more with the brand. So it's really, on, honestly, it's, a, it's an easy conversation to have. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we we won't go into every category because, of course, Powerbase covers a lot of categories. But even the uh, factory fit application specific stuff, I mean, that's a huge catalog on its own. And I just want to give the people, the, the guys that are tuning in to understand that we are looking at a one piece of a big pie that Powerbase does cover. And of course, you know, we're not it's it's hard to have a show for every category. But if this is one, we're going to cover a couple cool new items. And I think we got the right guy that's coming on with us to kind of walk us through all that. Yeah, totally. I mean, we could probably do a connected in every segment you have mm. with Powerbase. Exactly. Right? So that's why kind of for us jumping in towards the end of Marine, beginning of motorsports, you know, it really made sense because it is just so many things and, it, you know, they transition left and right. So, yeah, having Eric definitely here to talk to us today, too, is is a is a big thing. There's not really anyone that mo knows more about PB than him. So Well, perfect. Well, without further ado, why don't we get Mr. Vice President on with us right now, and uh, let's welcome Mr. Eric Harbour. What's going on, Eric? What's happening, guys? How are you? I'm not as tanned as you. I'm going to start with yeah. that. I was working on my tan all weekend, you know, watching yeah. race cars go around the track. So There's nothing wrong with that. We know you're a race fan. I hope you had a good time. But today... We want to get down and dirty with some power based goodies. And so before I let you unleash you, um, I have a video here queued up that kind of sets the tone for what we're going to cover today. Let's roll the tape. I mentioned at the top of the, the the show, you know, you own your own manufacturing plant, but also that really design centric thinking and presentation and packaging kind of makes it a complete package, in my opinion, Eric. That's that's my thanks. Opinion. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's that's kind of the cool thing, you know. As as you know, we kind of talked about in the beginning, we we are our own manufacturer, and I think what makes it neat is I can say it kind of like Apple does, exactly like you had said, you know, originally there, and Jess had touched on, is that we're just like Apple. Um, all the engineering and the design comes from here in California. And everything else, the manufacturing part of that is what happens at our facility in China. And it's, you know, vertical integration at its finest. And we have our in-house engineers, Rich Co, who is a very well-known electrical engineer in our building, you know, working with us all the time. Myself and Dave Myers, who is a, a a Canadian celebrity in his own from uh, his trips up to all of the events and whatnot. Uh, so, you know, I think it's great because we've got a good team. We work hands on uh, when it comes down to the video production, even the, the marketing side of it. We're all working together. It's not like there's a separate move. So we come into a product and say, how are we going to market this? How are we going to make it better? How are we going to do something that's different? And the whole process is thought of rather than, hey, guys, here's a piece of product. Go make it cool. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's all thought about along the way. Uh, and all of that's done here in our facility in California. Yeah, I think that's really cool. It really sets, sets you apart a little bit, you know, in, in the industry for the type of logistical setup that you have from R&D, design, production to final piece ready to ship. Right. I mean, your warehouse is there as well. We've been in the back and I mean, it's all in one. So today we're covering power sports as a broad topic. But uh, what, you know, what are some of the categories that we'll be covering within that today? 
Uh, we're going to do power sports. Obviously, you know, we, we generally tend to focus on that thing behind me, the, the sound bar. Uh, that's kind of our claim to fame in power sports. But we grew. We grew. We decided to expand and get into other things, uh, such as head units, mm -hmm. amplifiers. And then I'm going to show some new stuff that's just coming out to the market. And, and along the way, you're going to see some products that haven't yet landed in Canada, haven't really landed anywhere yet. Uh, but they will be very soon. Uh, so I'm happy to present them for the first time to the public uh, here with you guys. Awesome. That's what we're here all about, Eric. Uh, I know we, you've got your products probably lined up. You have some products to show as well. We've got some images. So why don't we set you up? We'll let you go through everything. And for sure, for sure, when we come back, Justin takes some notes. I'm taking notes. And we're going to be able to, to pick these apart and ask the questions. So here you go. Sounds good. Awesome. Yeah, so that's the MC150 you can see here on the screen. This is our newest power sport radio. Uh, we try. We went with the square design, which fits in most UTVs, and this uh, works in any of the dash kits out there for the square. We had the MC200, which was the first version of this, and literally we shot for the fences on that one. We were doing uh, crazy uh, equalization, custom uh, options for the user. It was multi-zone. Every zone could have been uh, adjusted by the user, and there was a lot of chips going on. So what happened when we kind of came into everything going short and everyone having issues with chips was we had to scramble. Um, and the answer was, how do you make a new radio without really making a new radio, but keeping in mind that there was a, a chip shortage. So lo and behold, the MC 150 is the newest radio. It's still in the square face. So it will fit all of the kits that fit any of the square face, but it also now has a round back. So it can fit in that tack opening. Uh, it makes it a little easier for multiple applications as far as install. There's a lot of power still in it. Uh, with this one, we're able to give you a 25 watts RMS by 4, 40 watts max. Uh, this is a 3-inch TFT display. Uh, it's Bluetooth 5.0, has aux in, USB in, USB charging. A really nice unit, very simple uh, user interface. It's a little step down, but it's somewhere kind of in the middle of that MC250 and what I'm going to talk about next in our MC100. But definitely packs a punch. We were able to create a piece very quickly. We we basically built this piece in about 30 days from start to finish as far as let's get it done, let's reimagine how it functions, and let's bring it to the market. Um, it is dual zone, front, rear, sub output RCAs. An amazing piece, waterproof, tight face, uh, not going to have you any issues with water, splash, salt, doesn't matter, dust, dirt, debris. Great for your UTV application. Can be used in marine. We've even got people that are using them in cars, uh, believe it or not, in the tailgating uh, world for football games and whatnot. They put this in the back, uh, and it works great for that. Uh, so the MC the MC 150, an amazing little piece for the UTV market. Now let me move along to the next product that we have in our head unit range, which you saw in the video, the MC 100, which is your round tachometer fit radio. This one's uh, 20 watts by 4 RMS, uh, and this does have your... Uh, uh, LCD, uh, two and three quarter LCD display, AM, FM, weather band already built in, RDS ready to roll. Uh, works amazing. It's a super little piece, you know, not too deep, so it fits in pretty much everything with no problem. This will go into the standard tachometer uh, opening, and um, it works amazing. It's waterproof, it's watertight. Uh, everyone loves these when they get them in, and it competes with any of the other round radios out there on the market. This one's been out for quite some time. Movements on it, movement on it's been amazing. Um, and, you know, the cool thing is we track, you know, success, in my opinion, by one, how well do they sell? And two, how many of them come back? Uh, and we really haven't had any problems. No one's called. No one's complained. They've been bulletproof. All of our radios have been bulletproof. And, and the radio, you know, with the, with the 100 and the 150 and the uh, 250, uh, I mean the 200, it's the first time this brand's ever done radios um, in its history. So it's something that was new to us. It's something that was new to me and those that kind of know my history in the industry know that I never I never did a radio. There wasn't a radio to uh, a radio playbook for me to look through and know how I could you know create a new radio. So it was fun to do because it was something new. It was something new for us. It was something new for us to dive into. And I think we did well. I think we really created some marine radio, UTV radio applications that are amazing, priced right and outperform uh, in that price point for sure. So that was our goal. Uh, let's move a little bit forward into amplifiers. So, you know, you can have a cool radio and you can have a neat sound bar, which you see behind me, but you got to have an amplifier to do all the other fun stuff. Uh, if you want to power pods, power subwoofers, we, we cover it all. 
the XL uh, amplifier line was the most popular um, from our from our lineup, and it had been for a long time. But it didn't have like a redo, so to speak. It has been often imitated and, and duplicated. Um, and we decided, you know what, if it isn't broke, don't fix it. But we wanted to move into the next phase of that amplifier lineup. Um, so with the XL series, uh, your XL series is nice, small, very, very compact amplifier. You can see this is our uh, this is our 250.2, so very small. Uh, you know, basically that's the palm of my hand. So you can see that it's, as a matter of fact, just for fun, I have my iPhone here, and you can see that it's it's an iPhone 12, and it's you know almost the size of the iPhone. So super small. When I when I do these presentations with these in uh, in uh, front of dealers and, and customers, I like to put this in my pocket, start the, uh, de the demonstration. And then by the time we get to this, I'll pull it out of my pocket. That's how small it is. So we didn't really reinvent the wheel on it. We kept a lot of the, the aesthetics to the XL. We of course did it in black to go with, uh, with more of the marine look of all of our other uh, amplifiers and other, other products. But what we did is we made changes. We inverted the board so that in case water were to get into this case, it would move through fr freely. We sealed the entire thing and double conformal coated the board so that that way we're making it more water resistant. Could you submerge this? No, that's that's another series in the MX, the XL MX series could be submerged. But can you get this wet all day long uh, without a problem? So we made some minor changes. We also increased the power. There's the 250.2, uh, which is 125 watts by two. There's the 800.4, uh, which is 100 watts by four. The 900.5, which is a five channel, and that's 100 watts by four, and 500 watts at two ohm on the sub, uh, sub end of that. So what you'll see is this body is just gonna get a little bit longer as it goes, uh, and all of these as we get up into power. And then we also do two monoblocks. So the 600.1, which is 600 watts at one ohm, and the 400.1D, which is 400 watts at two ohm. All of these are IR chipset, class D, full range digital, and class D sub amplifiers. The IR chipset is probably the best one out there. And yes, I know there's been chip shortages and it's been rough, but we were able to get all the chips we needed to make this production. And I'm happy to say that the new XL series amplifiers have finally been completed. They've passed QC and inspection and they're on the way and they should be in store soon. So that's kind of an exclusive here to tell you that these are finished, they're on their way, and they're on their way a little early. We had hoped March, April, and it looks like we're delivering exactly when we thought, even during a shortage. And that's from us planning ahead, developing quickly, and making conscious decisions ahead of time, knowing where the industry was turning uh, and, and taking some of those struggles and kind of overcoming them along the way with a great team here in our facility in California. Now, let me go a little bit farther into something that we're gonna call it power sports, but I'm going to say that it's personal power sports because it's summertime, spring really heading into the summer, and you're going to be out at the pool. You're going to be out at barbecues. You're going to be out having fun. We decided to step away from the vehicle and put it in your hands into a portable system. So now we have our portables. The BT200, this is my favorite. Uh, this is what we call the split, and I'll show you in a minute why we call it the split. But the BT, BT200 split features true wireless stereo. Now watch this. I can take the cover off, right? This is waterproof. I've thrown it in a hot tub multiple times in testing, and I threw it in the pool this weekend just to, be, just to be sure. But here's the fun part. So you split it, and this is why we call it the split. So now you have two speakers. You can literally put one on one side of the pool and one on the other. Now you have true wireless stereo surround sound while you're at the pool, while you're at the beach, while you're out on the trails, wherever you are. This can go with you, uh, completely portable. Bluetooth has two USB-C inputs for charging. You'll turn one piece on, you'll turn the other one on, and it will go into a dual pairing, which is true wireless stereo. So you're going to connect to one and it's going to dual pair to the second. One becomes your right, one becomes your left. Passive radiators on the bottom and the top. And then you can easily put the cover rubber bumper, if you will, back on. And you can take this piece with you wherever you go. Fits great in your backpacks. Uh, got a little strap there. You can strap it on uh, to anything, you know, backpack or, you know, maybe your bike, which leads me to another thing. 
maybe some of you are familiar with a band uh, out of the United States um, by the name of Metallica. Metallica has a charity that we're working with, along with our friends at Timmy Fresh Brand. If you want to go check them out, be sure to do so. They're building bikes, beach cruisers, bicycles uh, for the beach cruiser, which is a huge market here. Well, they all put this type of speaker on it. So he's building one for Metallica's charity that will get more information for everyone soon. And I'm happy to tell you here again as an exclusive for the first time, the BT200 will be featured on that bike and it will be raffled off for charity for the whole bike. Uh, Metallica's behind it, their charity's behind it, everyone's aware of it. I'm gonna get more details, we're gonna get more photos and more imagery going on. It's something that we've kind of kept a little quiet, our reps know about it, but now you guys know about it first. The BT200, our first portable speaker, and we're already making waves uh, in the rock world and hopefully we can help uh, some kids and everyone along the way with that charity. And the, I'll give you more information later. Now let me move on to our last piece of the day, the smaller one, the BT50. Cool little piece because you can strap this on your backpack, you can put it anywhere really. It's small, it's compact. Sounds amazing for one little speaker. This also has TWS built in. So you can get two of these and you can pair them together. Again, for true wireless stereo, you can pair two of these together, put one in the one side of the room, one on the other, and then you've got wireless stereo sound uh, no matter where you're at. Amazing piece, totally sealed, waterproof design. Take it to the beach, take it out to the pool, take it wherever you go on any of your adventures. While you're out power sporting around in your UTV, take one of these with you. Pull it out of the backpack while you're at camp and you've got something to listen to and not have to worry about the environment. And you can still enjoy your music or maybe your podcast or you can listen to CMA Live on one of these. No, no problem. And that's kind of the summary of all of our new Power Sports and Marine items that are coming right now. I've got a ton more I could show you, but we'll save that for next time. Uh, Eric, awesome presentation. I've got a ton of questions for you, but I'll tell you what, I'm going to give you a chance to take a break. We've got another video on those portables that you just showed. They'll give it a little bit more insight. And when we come back, uh, we're going to have a little bit of discussion of what, what we learned here along with Justin. We'll be right back. Awesome. I don't know who's making your videos, but that's like CNET, like quality, like really top level ish. I was jazzed, jazzed right up. Seriously, 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 seriously. Well, I'm glad. Um, you, I'm glad you enjoy them. Um, they're I've really well really, done. A really good friend of mine that helps us helps us with that stuff, and uh, you know, him and I kind of go through how it should look, where it should be. Uh, believe it or not, his other job he does uh, filming for HBO, so uh, it's definitely a very high level of yeah, production it, it value. Shows. Mm -hmm. um, but we're able to uh, kind of bring him in and go over that stuff in the in product planning. So he's with us at the beginning as well. All right. Listen, um, if you don't mind, Justin, I'll go first. I got a couple immediate ones out of the gate here. I want to get out of the way. For going sure. Back, going back to the uh, the source unit um, with the color screen. Uh, one thing I wanted to clarify, you know, I've had some bad experiences with color screens in the past, Eric. Mm -hmm. I wear polarized sunglasses, you know, when I go boating. I wanted to, what what type of screen are we talking about? Is that is that good for glare or what? Do you, what yeah, what? it's it's a three inch TFT display. It uh, has been kind of checked in a sense in dark and light environments. I obviously wear glasses. Um, believe it or not, I've got like the blue the blue polarized mm -hmm. into mine. Uh, as I as I got older, they said, "Hey, you got to stop stop looking at screens so much." So we put that in there. Uh, we've done a lot of testing with sunglasses, be it polarized, non-polarized. Uh, the cool thing with the screen is you can see it from angles, mm. uh, and through polarization, it's 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 not seeing that. So you're kind of blocking that out in a sense. Uh, it's clear no matter what, from the side, from the front, from the back, dark, light. It really doesn't matter. 
Uh, is there any settings as far as its uh, brightness or anything of that nature? Is it kind yeah, of like... there's there's user okay. adjustments inside in the settings. The uh, user interface has settings for uh, light or dark. It also has uh, dim and brightness features. Uh, the settings are, are very elaborate. There's a lot of options still in there. I know I mentioned that we kind of scaled it back some, but uh, we did leave in some of the key elements as far as being able to, to provide functionality. Uh, for those of you that wear glasses like myself, or for those of you that like to have like, polarized sunglasses while you're out, um, you know, we tried to make sure that it worked in every environment, and we did, you know, thorough testing on all of that. Good to know. Good to know. The other thing that stood out, and I'm, uh, I wanted to point out, on the top right button, it says cam. Uh huh. Is, is that for a camera input? It is definitely for a camera input. So. Coolest thing to me was that, you know, when you get into the UTV world, guys just kind of hope they can back off that trailer um, <laughs> or they get stuck and they need to figure out how to get out of that spot just um, full and they get back into a tree. Uh, so we decided, hey, let's do video input. So there's a video input. So then now you can back that thing off the trailer without worrying about anything. Or if you get in a rough spot, you can turn that camera on and figure out how to kind of back out of that area. Now, I'm not going to say that it hasn't been done where it could be turned into maybe a potential video screen, but there's ways around it. <laughs> mm -hmm, very well. Uh, th that's the two points that I had from the source unit. How about you, Justin? Um, I don't really have questions on the product. I mean, Eric did a great job when he was explaining it. I think uh, it's, it's just really funny that we're talking about this today because I actually had a call from a dealer today that is putting the 100 uh, in a hot tub. <laughs> yeah. In a hot Oh, awesome. snap. In, yeah, a, in a hot tub. tub right? Yeah, I, I, so, could, uh, I, could, I could see this in a hot tub for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So Does it I have mean, a time it's, machine uh, button? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. External RGB control. That's on the next one. Yeah. Both yeah, in well, Power Sports we'll love the, the RGBs. Hot, hot, hot tub features. Put that on the list. Um, no, I think, uh, I think kind of the diversification into those radios, too, is as far as you know, everything from the 200 to the 150 to the 100 really covers kind of price point feature set uh, for, for all your customers. And, you know, being that it is power based, it is, you know, top, top quality and, and reliable and trust, you know, really well trusted. So uh, it's exciting to see those. And it, it's actually really cool and clever to kind of have that 150 to step between the two and the 100 because it's it's. It's, I mean, it's just as functional, has so many cool features as well, but uh, just matches the, the perfect dollar range that you have to be at if the, if the 200 is just a little bit outside, right? So, yeah, and I, the I other thing have, is with the, sorry, with the chips going up and, and the, you know, it, yeah. I mean, it literally went through the roof, guys. And I, I yep. don't know if anybody's came out on here and explained that, but I mean, the, the chips were in cents at one point and then they became in double digit dollars for that same chip. Um, so to yeah. think that the prices would have remained after that, uh, that's insane. So we knew that that was going to have to happen on the 200 to continue that one with all the chips that we use in it. And they're, they're super high end Qualcomm chips and we use Texas instrument chips and in the amplifier as well. So it's not like we're using just cheap chips to begin with. And when mm -hmm. you tell me that the chips have to be more expensive, but I need to maintain a price point, the 150 was the answer. Like it was the fix so that we knew when that 200 went, to a point where it was almost unobtainable uh, for some customers. For, there's no way I'm going to spend that. Uh, the 150 then came in kind of where that 200 is now to maintain that uh, that uh, price point. So we didn't see that erosion because of obviously the the events of the world, if you will. Yeah. Um, so I think I think we did a good job of, of grabbing that really quick and ensuring that it didn't get out of hand fast. And a smaller step up to go from that monochromatic screen to that full screen experience. Sure is yeah. definitely an attractive option. So, you know, you put one next to the other, here's your good, here's your better, bam, there it is. And yeah, LCD, they take the better. LCD to TFT, amazing day and night, you know, so mm -hmm. full color graphic interface versus just a, a nice blue and black screen. <laughs> there you mm -hmm. go. Totally. And I mean, when you look at, this is kind of just a bit of a segue, but um, obviously we know installs nice, right? Um, the, the nice thing about kind of the key, the couple of those radios is they're not overly complicated. Um, and you know, they're easily pairable with the new sound bars. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, I would, I would typically say as far as a cash and carry device goes, the, the, the sound bars are probably the most in the lineup that are, are more customer driven as far as install or throwing on my side by side. And, and I mean, let's be honest guys, like 
obviously we we press hard to keep install in the bay. We do, right? I want your store to it. But as far as being a, a retail store, cash and carry yeah, items, yeah, all right, are huge money makers, and people love them. So when you bring out those portables, right? Like I remember the the old uh, power based portable that just like all machined aluminum one. The yeah, BT, the BT one hundred. BT one hundred. And it was like super pretty looking, like it was a great little piece. So kind of to up the level to this uh, with, with the power base stuff, I think is going to be great and almost a no brainer for a lot of the dealers because, you know, like you said, you can hit it at the beach um, or for me, you can take it snowmobiling in July up here because that's what we do. Yeah. So, um, yeah. but I mean, it's, it's just good music everywhere. You know, there's people that use them in their cars because... It's just sticking it in the works. cup holder is a little bit more simple than changing the radio. So, I, yeah, you know what? A, a story I tell one. people is I use this one, um, the, the prototype from this one, the one before this while we were working on it. When I was moving in my house, I didn't have anything, obviously. So I was moving into a new house and I was like, man, it's kind of boring in here. So I split the thing up, put one speaker in, in the kitchen and one speaker on the stairwells going up upstairs. And the whole house had sound. And I was like, man, we we got it. This works. Let's just go. This is perfect. And then you snap it back together and go hang out at the pool. And it's so it doesn't necessarily have to be outdoors. It could be anywhere, even in your office. Uh, Bluetooth from your laptop to this. Put it, you know, one on split it. One right, one left. Now you've got stereo sound in your office. Click it back together. Throw it in your backpack. Go hang out for lunch. You've got something to listen to. I mean, it's, it's great for pretty much everything. It, it totally is. Um, I actually have quite a few things to say about that unit, but I didn't want to skip on the amplifier announcement that you made because we want to recognize, look, there was a, there were some challenges with multi-channel amplifiers last year. Okay? Yes. There were. I mean, there just and, were. And there still is. I mean, let, let's and not continue let's to be. Not, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's not forget <laughs> that there still is. Right. Um, but we, we literally just as of Friday finished a massive production uh, on amplifiers. Um, the five channels are not finished yet, but they're almost finished. The four channels are done. The monos are done. The two channels are done. Um, and not just this series. We did multiple series at once. It's the largest production we've ever cleared really at one time um, in amplifiers. And it was a matter of, hey, we have the chips. We have the, the aluminum. We have the parts. Let's just knock it out. And, uh, and we're ready to roll. So QC went well. Everything was fine. Uh, which means we'll move to the next part, and that's planning the shipments. So we'll see them soon. And that is a true testament to, circling back to what I said at the top of the show, how you can have con full control of the manufacturing process from top to bottom, that you could be efficient, adjust, pivot, and be able to do what, you're what you just announced and have one of the largest productions of ampli right. amplifiers that you've ever done. So absolutely, very, very clutch. Um, Let's talk about that Metallica thing because I'm not going to let you go on that. That was a big announcement. Like Nobody ever dropped is, Metallica right? on my show. Nobody's yeah. ever dropped Metallica on my show. So we're going to talk about that for a second. This charity. So this can we talk a little bit more about what that's all about? Uh, I'm still kind of getting more details as it was something that came very quickly as well. Um, so my friend, Timmy Fresh, he builds beach cruisers, if you will, or you know bikes for just cruising and enjoying. And, and those guys all put portable speakers on bikes. So his big thing was making aluminum brackets to mount the speaker to a bicycle. So he already made the bracket. He already started on this bike and said, you know, I just, I, I want to do Metallica and I wanted them to be involved, but who knows? It's Metallica. And I'm like, yeah, it's Metallica. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I know the guys that, that handle most of their, their parts and things like that, as far as drumsticks. And, you know, the, I know the ways that he should have gone as far as getting the, the parts so that it was more authentic. Uh, and that's what he did. You know, he got the Lars drumsticks on it and he got, you know, the, lo the logo right Thanks. and the flat black. And I was like, dude, this thing is awesome. I wish they'd be involved. And then all of a sudden, boom, their management was like, oh, yeah, we dig this. And at that point, we knew that they had seen it. And he, he messaged me and he says, it looks like they're on board now. You know, so we're going to have more from that. Uh, their charity is called uh, All Within My Hands. And it's a charity to help kids. And uh, and they started it in, actually, I got some notes here. In February of 2017, they started this um, charity. And uh, they, you know, they feed kids, basically. They take care of kids all over the world. Um, it's it's kind of their, their, their brainchild, if you will, in a way to give back. Uh -huh. 
being such a massive band and doing so well over the years, it's cool to see them focused on on giving and helping others. And, and that's what they're doing with uh, with that. And, and the website is allwithinmyhands.org if anybody wants to go check it out. Um, there will be more on this and the process. I'm not sure. It's still in it's still in its infancy. The bike's still being finished up and being built. They just played it in Vegas this past weekend at a bike show. Uh, if we um, still have it come SEMA, we're going to have it in our booth nice. um, at the SEMA show. And then I believe there will be a charity raffle or auction that will go for the bike. Um, they've done stuff. This guy's done stuff with Drew Brees and a lot of football players and uh, some baseball stuff. And he he's, he does amazing work on bikes. And uh, he is our official bicycle guy, if you will. Um, and he's going to be making the brackets. It'll be available on our website soon also. Amazing. So well, everyone, we know we're going to have you back a little bit later in the year. Maybe there's an update on that. And I'll, we'll be sure to check back with you on, yeah, on progress sure. with that project. Yeah, for sure. Okay, yep. now now we can talk about these portables. These portables are pretty mind blowing, especially <laughs> the split. The split one, yeah. really, I wasn't ready for it. You know, there's a lot of guys trying to get guys, brands, I should say, you know, trying to get into the portable business. And then, you know, for a car audio, we'll call you a car audio at, at the Roots brand, now trying to get into these type of categories. At first, I was scratching my head a little bit. I'm like, are they just trying to sell stuff? Like, you know, but now after hearing you explain it and showing the design and the features, I kind of started to get it because if you've sold the customer on whether it was the car audio or you did up his bike or you did up his boat or you did his truck, and why wouldn't you want to keep that same brand, that same tone, that same sound, that same reliability, whatever, all that experience that you had a positive experience with, with you throughout your lifestyle, right? And you mentioned yeah. so many different scenarios. And then you split the damn thing in two. And then I was like, okay, these guys did something different here. Um Justin, I, I know you talked a little bit about it, but how do you think? I mean, you're talking about that cash and carry business. Like, yeah. that should be right on a counter. You know what I'm 100%. saying? 100%. Or playing. Or playing. You know, no, if, if, you, if, you don't, playing. if you don't already have a, like a, a lovely giant power based display or, or a sound bar given her in the back. Do you know anybody? Do you know somebody for that? I can help you. I can probably do that. <laughs> Call me. Um, yeah. Or, you know, it's just, it's really cool. And, and the good thing is, like, there's a lot of kind of portable things starting to emerge on the market and some are just junk. Like, let's just, let's just call it what it is. Like just, they sound terrible. Right. And, and these are element ready, right? Eric, just to confirm, like these yeah. are splash. Oh yeah. Off, like you can, okay, yeah. they're meant for the elements. You can throw it. Float my, my float my float hot tub. With this, threw it in the hot tub. My very first test. I just threw it in the hot tub mm -hmm. and said, well, if that works then we'll be all right. <laughs> we'll be good. Okay. Fair enough. Fair um, enough. so, to have one kind of built by by Powerbase or, you know, that's kind of grassroots car audio. Um, I don't even know if you can really call them grassroots car audio. They're more grassroots manufacturing, like these Fair guys enough. built, right? That's what they know how to do is, you know, they've we, we've we've talked about how they do I it for other brands. Because the first time I've seen it, I just seen a, a trunk full of subs. So in my mind, I think Powerbase, <laughs> I'm thinking... Sure. Yeah, that's what I saw at first. Right. That's what, for sure. me, that's why, you know. But I mean, it's nice to know um, that all the R support, like it's just, it's just not another off the shelf Bluetooth speaker. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's that was built in California, you know, with Eric, with Dave, with the other guys, you know, tested. It's from played, the minds then, that brought you all this other crazy yeah, stuff that they exactly, did. Yeah, exactly. Right. That's and then so to kind of go up with something like that and, and to have the power base name is like exciting and fun. Black and orange is a hell of a color combination. So yeah, I'm super pumped. Um, question though, Eric. So the dual USB C charger, so each one is its own individual battery, right? Correct. Yeah. So you do have to charge each one. The okay, cool. cool. That's is, all I, I just didn't know if it charged when it was twisted. So no, but, but we supply a cable that has the two coming oh, nice. out into one. Yeah. So it goes from USB A to, to dual USB C. Um, nice. So you don't have to like go plug two in. You just plug the one in and it'll take care of it for you. Ben and what I were just talking today. I'm just behind yeah. the times. I got a new phone and it's got USB C and I don't own a single thing that has a USB C <laughs> charger board. Yeah. It's all I, I, I was mean, it's slowly I was, going that. It's slowly going that way. And I was that, telling uh, Justin, I'm, I'm holding on to my 11, man, because it still got the uh, old plug in there. You know, yeah. the, the original one of this had just the mini, the mini on it, and I said, Nah, it's got to be USB C. Yeah. And you know, yeah, as long as it's got USB A it, said, on the other end, we're good. We're good. Yeah, so it, it has to kind of catch up with the time. Uh, and in the 50, it's still uh, the mini USB. 
Oh, nice. Uh, but this one went over to the USB-C. Uh, so and, how, I, how much playtime? How much playtime? Uh, you can. It depends on volume level, but you can get up to 12. Uh, if you're listening to audiobooks and not 12 minutes loud, or 12 not, hours? 12 hours. Come on. Yeah. 12 hours so, on that thing. Wow. Yeah. So, so okay. Dave, uh, you know, Dave loves football here in our office. He is our football guru. Um, during during fantasy season and football season, don't even bother. Dave is just 90 mile an hour football. So he listens to podcasts all day long and he uses this uh, in the back and he'll turn this on and listen to it all day at work. And he'll come back the next day, not even charge it and keep on listening. Um, so, you know, battery time is going to be relevant to volume level. Mm -hmm, uh, it's sure. also going to be relevant to playback. Um, for a, a good example, I went out uh, with some friends this weekend and let this thing play from 12, well, let's call it one, to about six at a pretty decent volume level, uh, having a good time, and uh, it's still good to go. Like, I didn't even need to plug it in. So, uh, a lot of playtime. That was important. Like, you know, who wants a portable that you have to plug in every couple hours? Nobody, you know. So that uh -huh. was one of the bigger factors. And, and, and the and, last, sorry, go ahead. For sure, and sure. I think I think the coolest thing with us is, and this is and this is what I try to tell everybody, and, and this is something that I've been saying since day one. If you haven't used PowerBase or you're not familiar with PowerBase, just go listen to it. Literally listen to anything we have, uh, and you'll come away from it surprised for one and two you'll say well how much does that cost and then you'll be even more surprised uh, and then when you explain well we're vertically integrated then it all starts to make sense but i think the the neat part for me is that we literally do spend hours on hours just listening to everything even even when it comes down to these little portables we pick that apart for days um, just to make sure it sounded right uh, and it matters. And, and when you say there's a lot of portable stuff out there that's just junk, it's because nobody's listening to it. They're just slapping their name mm. on it going, yep, that works. Um, and even like the little cube, like there's not there's only so much you can do with this uh, as far as sound is concerned. But it was important to us to sit and listen. Even the tones that say power on, power off and all that fun stuff. We paid attention to all of that. And I think that sets us aside from a lot of other brands is we don't just slap the name on something. We literally think it through from start to finish and think it through just as an end user would experience that. And that's why I say if you haven't heard about PowerBase, just go listen to it and then you'll fall in love. Guarantee it. I got one more comment and then we're segue. We're going to bring our last guest on to kind of, you know, round out this conversation. And did you say there were passive radiators on the ends of that? Uh, yeah. Bluetooth? Yeah. So Thank we you. can get a little, little bass going here. Uh, it's cool too because, like, out in the middle of nowhere, you would think you can't get any, you know, bass response. But yeah, it's not bad at all. It's, it's not going to shake the windows, but I'm, I, <clears throat> I, I feel I will be pleasantly surprised based on the size of what I'm looking. That's playing. So yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's for cool. sure. On that note, uh, talking about somebody that's got some experience with the brand that gets pretty giddy about it because honestly, every time I talk to him, even offline, he somehow brings up the word power base, even though we're not talking about car audio whatsoever, but he likes talking about it a lot. And then, you know what, Justin, when you suggested this, this dealer come on, I said, yeah, there, there's, that's a perfect fit. Um, let's bring him on. His name is Conrad Leduc, recent winner of an ME award, might I add. Congratulations on that, Conrad. Yeah, congratulations. Oh, oh, you're muted. You're muted. Take off your mute. How's it going, guys? Very, very good. So just, just for the record, what, what award did you win? Let everybody know. Uh, we won most improved store in North America for 22. Months. My goodness, imagine and that. top 12 for top for retail. Yeah. Very good. Congrats. Congratulations! Thank you made you. us proud. You made us proud, <clears throat> Conrad. I've been waiting to get you on, man. It's been too yeah. long. So Powerbase. what a great way to get you back on. Um, Power Base, of course, is on the menu. You've sat there in the back studio. You've learned. You've watched this presentation. Here's talk. Uh, the first question out of the gate: How long have you been a Power Base dealer? And give us your your general impression. Uh, having worked and sold this brand now for, for the time that you have? We've been uh, involved with PowerBase probably around three years now. Mm -hmm. uh, there's still lots more of the SKUs we need to get into, but the stuff that we've used is just rock solid. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's the the entry-level S-series speakers for cars, uh, the direct fit stuff we've used lots. It's awesome. Uh, we've even used the Triple XL 15, which is the craziest thing I've ever used in my life. That would be the one that Dave Myers was standing on at the expo. Yeah. 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 So at, at the expo, when we were there, we sold one from the expo and we've used other branded 
15 inch woofers that took 1500 RMS before, but they're not 92 pounds. Right. Mean, th this thing is just the silliest <laughs> driver I've ever seen. I can't wait to try some eights. That's our next, that is on my dockets for the next thing. If we can get someone with some, you know, two or three eights and, and use those triple XL eights, I am stoked for that. Yeah, so, you should you should call and talk to Dave about the eights. He's got them in his car now. He loves them. Yeah. Loves them. And the uh, the, the sound bars we we've used the previous model sound bars, the XL one thousands a lot, and the, uh, unreal. Like the, those are the 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 Cadillac. You can't say enough about them. Uh, we're working on getting one uh, one of the new ones on demo here at the shop. And, and when we used to demo the old ones, people were just floored. It's it's not even a conversation once they hear that thing. So here, here, I want to get down to a little bit more detail here. So with other dealers listening in, you know, you're, you're obviously um, somebody that a lot of dealers could look up to as well from what, you're, what you've accomplished. How do you qualify? Like, who is the power base customer? Where does the line fit in your cat catalog of products? Because you do offer a lot of different brands. We do. Uh, but power base is, is, is anybody. I mean, an entry level speaker um, from guys that want solid amps and power sports to anyone, I mean, anything with Marine, anything UTV, the, those new radios are fantastic. It's going to open up the world of, of how many more things we can do. Um, but any customer, I mean, like you said before, it's it's a full range of, of, of a brand. It hits everything. I think that's, you know, I think that's a huge thing as well as, uh, as kind of building upon, you know, brand integrity, right? You have some people that are, you know, so driven, like I want this brand, this brand, this brand, but it's really cool to see, you know, you could have, uh, you could have power base pods in your boat. You can have all the new XL amps. You can have a power base head unit. You literally can go start to finish in a UTV, in a motorcycle, hella hot rod with the Bluetooth controllers. Um, and, and all power base. So I think that speaks huge to the kind of brand integrity. Um, and, you know, coming from a dealer like yourself, Conrad, uh, it's, it's, it's important to work with key partners and it's important to work with brands that you know aren't going to let you down, right? Because the more comebacks you have, the more money it costs you. And at the end of the day, everyone wants to make more money. So to, to be able to have a product like this that you can sell with 100% confidence pretty much in any sector of 12 volt is uh is is what makes power base really unique because i'm gonna light a match here i'm gonna yeah. light a match here under you justin and eric with you guys on the screen so let's talk about reliability for a second here you put in a lot of systems you put it it sounds like you put it in pretty much every scenario every category yeah. reliability you obviously have some confidence in this brand can you talk to us about that a little bit conrad well i mean obviously we uh we personally guarantee power base for uh uh, an extended time when when it's purchased through us and installed with you guys in the bay if you're a power base dealer as well so um you know for us that is eric always says he just kind of considered us considered us considers us power base canada and we really appreciate that and keep 100%. it close to our, our hearts so uh we always want to make sure that we're doing justice to the brand and like it says when in terms of reliability i have no problem looking after this product because the product doesn't fail. Conrad, you know. your thoughts on this? Three years with power base, zero returns. That's what nice. I was wondering for. There nice. you go. From the entry level to the triple XL to power sport, zero returns. Yeah, I think, yeah. you know, from our side, it's, it's weird because we, we've honestly, we've changed how we do uh, returns here in the last two weeks. Uh, so Dave Myers, our technical director, he's now wow. kind of overseeing that. Because it makes sense. So your technical guy and your product development team need to see what's coming back. So it makes sense for them to see it first and for them to evaluate and for Dave to say, oh, wait, we missed this or this is a problem or ah, there's no reason to worry. Uh, so we've really changed the entire thing. It was something that uh, Dave and myself um, and our, our great girls here in customer service all just kind of came together in the last two weeks and redid the whole process uh, mm -hmm. from data to forms to how we process everything. And in that, I started to dig and see where things were. And our legitimate return rates, about 2%, two, two and a half, uh, which is really nothing in the big picture. Um, mm -hmm. But the funny thing is, is that I'm going and looking through the data and Dave is telling me, hey, um, most of the stuff that's back works. And I said, what do you mean? He said, I, I'd say 85% of what I've gotten back in the last few weeks, it works. It's no trouble found, as we call it. 
Uh, mm -hmm. Some of the stuff still looks brand new. Uh, so our, I believe our return rates might have even been skewed. We could be under 2% uh, once we get out of this kind of new cycle of, of looking at things. But uh, what that tells me is that three years with no returns, that means you're, you're doing multiple things. One, you're talking to your customer and selling them the right piece. Two, you're doing the install. And the install work is impeccable, as we know. Uh, and three, you're, you're explaining to the customer how to use the product. And I think in car audio in general, uh, in power sports, car, whatever we want to call it, people have forgotten how to be a real store that actually cares about the function of the product they're selling, explaining it to the user, and making sure that every bit of that is 100%. And because you do that and your team goes above and beyond, then you, you wind up seeing things not come back, your customer happy, and the reason they walk back in your store is to spend more money. And that's a good thing because you treated them right. And brands like us appreciate guys like you and shops like you that are going above and beyond and, and ensuring that things are just out there working like they should uh, and not having false negatives, if you will, on bad product that actually wasn't bad. <laughs> so, and Conrad, I mean, Conrad's team is huge. So to manage all those team members uh, to keep the quality control up is, is I, I know it's a challenge, uh, Conrad. Yeah, all two of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, I got I got one or two more questions left for Conrad while we have him on. Uh, for dealers listening in, they, they see you. You just you just went for the on the record and said you've had zero returns, which is gonna speak volumes. But if I, you've had to pick three SKUs that you know I'm a dealer, I want to I want to get into Powerbase. What do I have to order? Um, for entry level, I would get into uh, definitely the the entry level. Um, coax and components. I mean, with a soft dome tweeter on them, no one's touching them for quality, for sound quality. And the price point is, is unreal. Um, the powered subwoofers we use lots of all in ones. We, we, we love those things. They're just a great package to have. And, and it's a full system with one skew. You don't have to have multiple stuff. Um, and sound bars, sound bars for the side by sides, put one on demo. It will pay for itself immediately. It's not even a question. Does it surprise you at all, Eric, what he just chose is three items? No, no. I mean, and that's that's literally <laughs> our, our best sellers. If I had to break it down and said, you know what, guys, we're going to get rid of everything and just keep three things, and that's pretty much what it would be. Uh, now, I would I would throw in the OE series as well because that's, that's huge for us. Uh, but the S series has been around for a long time. It's another one of those, if it isn't broke, don't fix it too much. But we did improve the tweeter over the last few years. It is Silk Dome and an entry level price, which doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so you're actually getting sound quality for, for next to nothing as far as price is concerned at an affordable price point for every customer that walks in the door. Uh, sound bars, obviously, it's our biggest thing. Sound bars is, is kind of our, our, our baby. It's been our baby. It's what we all it's what we seem to talk about a lot. And that's why I wanted to make sure this time we talked about other things uh, and our loaded enclosures that are amplified and self amplified pieces. It's. It's solutions based, really. So OE direct fit, plug and play. You've got self -ap self amplified subwoofers that, again, is auto turn on. So now you've got a very easy install that works, functions, uh, the customer's happy and good to go. Uh, and so, yeah, I think you, you hit it right on the head. Those are the three best categories to start with if you're just getting started with Powerbase. Conrad, you saw uh, my excitement when I saw that portable piece. What do you think of this category in general for Powerbase and your thoughts on what you learned today? I love them. Uh, we, we did very well with the BT100s. Um, we have them here right at the point of sale. Uh, we use them uh, for Christmas sales. They're, they're fantastic. Um, people are, are shocked at the, the size of them and the sound and they go, that's coming from that. Yeah, that was a that was a little square rectangle one they had. And, mm -hmm. and these ones, I, I don't doubt that they're even better than that. The, the splittable part of that, uh, that 200 is, is just so cool. So when I, when we get them here, um, you know, we'll be able to demo them on, on, in the, on the counter. But when people, I know they're going to freak out when we just like split it in half and they're going to go, what? right. That you at least save that one for the end, right. Is the shocker, but it's uh yeah, really, really cool. And piece. it's stereo, right? Eric, it's not mono. Those are actual full stereo. Left Correct. And right. Correct. Mm -hmm. There's a left and a right and it, mm -hmm. and it uh, gives you true wireless stereo. That's very cool. That's cool. I got one last question for you, Conrad. And I'll let you go. I promise. And my last question, you got Eric in front of you. It's kind of, you know, big cheese over at Powerbase. If you could request one product that Powerbase comes out with in the near future, what would that be? A new product? Yes. Oh. Or a category or anything. You, 
carte blanche, whatever you want to ask for. I'm not mean, saying he's going to do it. I just want to hear what you're going to say. Was, I was just going to ask for, <laughs> for a, a demo XL soundbar for my side by side, but I mean, I don't know, new product. Um, <laughs> I mean, you know, that that's, that's I mean, probably, the head, probably the headphones, 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 you know? headphones, Eric. You know, I, I looked at headphones and we started messing with it a little bit. And to me, if you can't be as good or better than what's out there, Eh, then you're There's just some pretty good headphones out there right now. There's then you're just slapping your name on something. Um, but it doesn't mean that we haven't looked at it, and it doesn't mean that you might not see it. Uh, it just means that it wasn't the first push in portable personal audio. Fair enough. Conrad, again, I want to reiterate, congratulations on the award. I know we've already said it a million times, but it's the first time I got you on camera since you won it. So I want to say congratulations on that, and uh, good luck with the new season. Thank you. We're looking forward to it. All right, take care, Conrad. Thanks for all your support, man. We yeah, appreciate yeah. it. And uh, for you, Eric, uh, amazing conversation. I really enjoyed this session, guys. I think this is exactly what we want to do. We want to show new product. We want to have that discussion to keep it relative to what's going on. And, and some of the conversation dialogue we had tonight, I'm sure, will resonate with dealers. It's because it's sure. not just about the packaging. It's not just about the specs. It's it's about the business of things and and why things are the way they are. And if we can provide that insight and help dealer, that's that's what we're all about. So I want to take this opportunity. It's, thank you, Eric, for for being on with us today. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. And it's yeah. funny that he went with headphones. I really thought he was going to come at me with DSP, and then I was going to say, "Oh, here's another bomb drop done." And I'll leave you with that. We're going to save that for car audio. How's that? Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll circle back. We'll circle back. Thanks so much, Eric. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. And last but not least, my good friend Justin over at BB Distribution. I'm going to take this opportunity to say for the record, if you're interested in power-based products and you happen to be in Canada, go ahead and give our friends at BB Distribution a call. Call Justin. He loves it when, when dealers call, or you can just visit their website, bbdistribution.ca. The digits are down below. And it uh, looks like Powerbase is certainly not going anywhere as far as BB Distribution's uh, offering is concerned, and uh, it covers a wide range. And I'll, I'll give you the last message here and the last word here, Justin, for dealers tuning in. I, uh, I don't really have much to say. Thank, like, thanks again to Eric. Thanks to Conrad. Thanks to you guys for, for doing this. And, uh, I mean, I think it's a, a great way to get Eric up here when he – not up here so just to talk to them and you know as we kind of come out of covid and in-person shows start happening again we look forward to seeing those guys like you said he's going to be at sema so uh it's uh hopefully it's a, another great year for car audio and and portable and marine for for all the brands and all the shops out there which is good but yeah if you guys have any interest in powerbase please give me a shout we'll love to put you in contact with your local rep and and give you as much info as you can on the brand. Awesome. We'll convert you. Buddy, it was good having you back. I look forward to uh, yeah, well, totally. a couple nice more to of these again, coming Dad. down uh, very soon. But uh, this was a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Peace out, Mr. Justin. There you have it, guys. All about Power Base. Big shout out to Eric Harbour, the Vice President, for joining us today. And to Conrad Leduc from Sudbury Car Audio for taking the time. And, of course, to Justin as well. I want you to remind you to keep tuning in to CMA Networks. We are deep in the middle of what we call the Power Sport Audio Sessions. Some key brands presenting every day a different brand. Those are the brands you see them on the screen. We're going right through till Tuesday, April 19th, all about Power Sports Audio. Of course, make sure you visit our newly redesigned website, cmanetworks.com, where you can search for your favorite content, either by category, by brand, or even by trainer. Go ahead and look up Eric or even look up Justin. They have their own profiles. Check it out, cmanetworks.com. That's it. Thanks for tuning in to this CMA Connected presented by SiriusXM. I'm your host, Ben Wu. Until next time, we connect. Roll it down. I am. You don't need a car to listen to Sirius XM. You can listen anywhere. You know that, right? What?
Kevin Hart's last what? <laughs> Kevin, you could use your phone. What? What? Alexa, play Kevin Hart's Laugh Out Loud Radio on Sirius XM. What? This is how I know you're getting old. I guess that was it. What?